Welcome back to Streaming Every Day. A while back, I made a video on how to set up a TCP or UDP stream using FFmpeg. And today I'm going to show you how to achieve the same result using GStreamer. You can read more about the command line tool on this website. The link will be in the description. We will start by opening two terminals. To stream a video, we obviously require one. I already have a video of New York, as always. I also tried out the command, so I will just explain you what the command does instead of writing it again. Okay, so we start with the server side. Now, the first element is the GST launch 1.0 itself. And then we use a flag verbos to get to know more about the process happening. And then we use a file source location. So here you have to mention the exact path. We are in the same directory, so we don't need to mention the whole path. Then we have exclamation decode bin. This automatically selects the appropriate decoder for the input file. The next element is a video convert. It converts the video to the format desired. And then we have the x264 encoder which we are using to encode the video and to have it on a low latency we will just tune it to zero latency it's pretty simple the next element is rtph 264 pay now this is something that needs some explanation probably what it does is it packetizes the video into rtp packets for streaming now when we stream video over a network especially using udp we need to ensure that the video data is transmitted in a way that can handle potential issues like packet loss or out of order delivery. RTP helps us adding timestamps and sequence numbers to the packets. Now by using this we make sure the video stream is more reliable and can be played smoothly even over potentially unstable network conditions. So that's the role of it, there can be a whole another video on the RTP the real-time transport protocol but for the sake of this video we will just stick to this explanation now the next element the next element is the UDP sync now if you watched the FFmpeg video there we use a flag minus UDP hyphen UDP here we are using UDP sync on the server side and we mentioned the host so I am just using the local host and a port of my choice which is 5000 here. So we move to the client side now and there again we have the GST launch command element and the verbose flag and the UDP source here with the port number that we are streaming it over from the server side. And then we have caps command that this specifies the expected format of the incoming stream. You can change it according to your requirement. It is mentioned on the documentation web page and you can check it and you can change it according to what you require. We are using RTP so it had to be application slash XRTP. Then we use media, media equal to video and a clock rate of 90,000. This can be skipped but I am just using it for the sake of this video. Then we have the encoding name which is H264. And then like RTPH 264 pay, we are here using RTPH 264 dpay, which is depacketizing the RTP stream. And then we use the AV decoder for H264 and then a video convert which converts the video format for display and then auto video sync which selects the appropriate video output. Now all we have to do is press enter. You will see a GST system clock running which means it's sending from the server side and the client is then accepting when you press enter on the client side and there you go so we can do the same over tcp and for that i will be uploading a video in the upcoming days and yeah if you like the video please hit the like button and we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching